Hello there, YTPC. Welcome back to Perkins Pipes. We've got the uh, bent poker that I made some time back. In fact, that's going to be the subject of this particular episode. So let's get this guy lit and let's get to talking. So, I want to talk about making things. And why so many of us like to do it. When I first got into pipes, The only pipe I had was my dad's K. Woody, uh, number 69 large pot, which I've featured on here numerous times. Uh, I found it in cleaning out my parents' house. And he had a stand for it. It was a Dunhill stand. So that was kind of cool. And then I discovered a second of his pipes, another K. Woody, K. Woody Campus. And it was in the original box, it didn't have a stand to go with it. So one of the first things I decided to do was make a stand for that pipe. I'm gonna bring up a picture of it here now. Actually, I keep my, um, oh goodness, my uh, uh, Savinelli Bing's favorite in this. Um, it's a little bit longer pipe and actually the stand was better suited for a little bit longer pipe. So I, so I made this just out of scrap wood uh, in the garage. And then it didn't take long, and I thought, hey, these pipes were made out of wood. I like to fool around with wood. What would it be like to make a pipe? So, got online, did some research, uh, found a, a kit pipe uh, on Amazon, uh, which I ended up shaping and finishing into this uh, bent poker. Which, by the way, I enjoy this. I'd wanted something black and got something black. And it's, ah, it's reasonably nice lines. Um, a little bit slow on the draw. May need to open him up a little bit at some point. But at any rate, first pipe that I made. Then, as I started getting more pipes, and we all know how that goes, right? Uh, you start getting into this hobby, and next thing you know, you're collecting pipes. And I didn't want them just sitting around. Uh, so again, went out in the garage, some scrap wood, and we'll show you a picture here of uh, the pipe stand that I made. And as I've mentioned before, uh, this one won't last me too long. I'm hoping uh, this summer, when my son is home from college, that he and I can get together and make a nice pipe cabinet but for what it's worth it does a nice job Hold, holds what I've got and then the other night got to fooling around online I'm looking at um, I'm looking at uh, uh, pipe sites and checking out just uh, you know other equipment other things you can get and I already had the basic check tool uh, you know the tamper um, you know, a little three-piece uh, check tool there. Already had that. Didn't need a new tamper or anything. But I saw one, and the end was made out of um, a shell casing from, from, from a bullet. And I thought, oh, that's just too cool. Because I like guns. I save some of my brass. I don't reload. I haven't got into reloading yet. Uh, but I do save some of my brass. So I thought, well, what in the heck? Let's try this out. So today is the first try with the new tamper. 
and you can see what we got going on here. Basically went to the hardware store and picked up a, uh, an oak dowel rod which I then fitted into a nine millimeter um, shell casing. Now, I did do a couple of other things with this. I, I rounded the end, obviously, stained it. All right, so we did that, give that, that kind of a look. What you can't see is that on the end that is inside the shell casing, I drilled a hole down into the dowel rod and filled it with BBs, just good old fashioned BBs, to give it a little extra weight. Um, shaped the end so that it would fit into, didn't quite uh, fit, so I had to, had to shape the end so that it would fit into the uh, shell casing. I glued that up and, well, oh uh, yeah. Works like a charm. Now, let's be honest, we're not exactly talking high physics here, right? Uh, we're not talking about designing something to go to the moon. Uh, we're talking about a glorified nail, right? In fact, that's what a lot of people use uh, to tamp their pipes. Uh, is just a nail, a pipe nail. Uh, so it's not special there at all. Uh, but by golly, I like it. It's got a nice little feel to it. Uh, it's something that I made. Uh, it's, it's special to me because of the, uh, the nine millimeter uh, casing on there uh, connects with a couple of my hobbies. So why though do we like to do that? Why do we like to make things? Uh, so if you like this kind of conversation, we're going to talk here a little bit more, but if you like this kind of conversation, talk about pipes, the finer things of life, uh, we certainly invite you to hit subscribe and join the fun over here at Perkins Pipes. I don't know, I think there's just something fun about making things. Uh, those of us who, who just like to do that, uh, we like to do it. And, uh, you know, you could get argue uh, theologically, I suppose. Uh, you know, we're, we're created in the image of God. God is a creator. Uh, so naturally his creation would want to create. You could go down the theological route there. My father-in-law liked to create, uh, he liked to cook. He liked to make fly rods and tie flies for fly fishing. Both of my grandmothers liked to create with quilting. Uh, my son is, as I mentioned in a previous episode, he just finished his degree in industrial design at Purdue University. He likes to create that way. My daughter, she likes to create uh, through photography um, and, and, and some painting and some other things, primarily photography for her. So partly I think we just enjoy doing it. Well, let me ask you, what are some things that you like to create? First off, within the pipe realm, have you ever made a pipe just for fun? Um, maybe share some pictures of that uh, if you like. Have you ever made a pipe stand? Um, I will tell you, making your own tamper is about as easy as pie. A uh, very easy thing to do. Um, and by golly, I can tell right away I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. So do you, do you make anything regarding uh, pipes? Do you like to create in other ways? Do you like to do woodworking or sewing or painting? Do you write songs or music? Do you do metalworking, blacksmithing? Um, what sorts of things do you like to do to create? So there is something very contemplative about pipe smoking. It leads to the creative juices flowing, I suppose. As Malcolm Guide likes to say, I do these little things in order at last to do nothing. Or as I like to say in Latin, parva ago ut tandem nihil agam. Have a wonderful day. There was a man who walked the earth.